everybody, I'm Megan Kelly. The band All Time Low is here today. And we are psyched. And speaking of All Time Low, we could soon have not one but two sitting U.S. senators accused of sexual assault. Not to mention our president. Uh, fear not, women of America, all is well. All is, it's fine. Senator Al Franken of Minnesota has been accused of forcefully kissing radio personality Leanne Tweeden without her consent. Oh, and also groping her, groping her breasts while she was asleep during a USO tour to the Middle East in 2006, two years before Senator Franken ran for office. This picture appears to show Mr. Franken's hands hovering over Ms. Tweeden's breasts. Last night, President Trump felt the need to weigh in on this, tweeting, the Al Frankenstein picture is really bad, speaks a thousand words. He went on to ask, where do his hands go in pictures two, three, four, five, and six while she sleeps? And then this from Mr. Trump. And to think that just last week he was lecturing anyone who would listen about sexual harassment and respect for women. I know. Who, like, <laughs> who that has been accused of sexual assault would have the gall to preach to others about sexual misconduct? How infuriating that would be. How tone deaf, Mr. President. Senator Franken says he meant the picture as a joke, but now calls it completely inappropriate. You know, Ellen DeGeneres says, you know how like people offend you and then they say, just kidding. And she says, I I if that's the case, like you're doing it wrong because we should both be laughing, right? And you know you failed. Uh, Franken's apologized now in a statement writing the first and most important thing. And if it's the only thing you care to hear, that's fine, is I'm sorry. I respect women. I don't respect men who don't. Also quick to condemn Senator Franken, former Alabama state judge and now U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore, who tweeted out yesterday, Al Franken admits guilt after photographic evidence of his abuse surfaces. Roy Moore! <laughs> Hello, Roy. Mr. Moore has now been accused by sexual misconduct of up to nine women, most of whom were teenagers at the time they claimed they were assaulted. The allegations against Moore, which go back decades, and which Moore's campaign insists are politically motivated, range from unwanted pursuit to groping to assault. So is this guy going to be our next senator? Here's the latest on Moore and his campaign. Until last week, Roy Moore was most famous for being twice elected and twice kicked off the Alabama Supreme Court. But on November 9th, that changed with a bombshell article from The Washington Post. In it, a woman named Lee Korfman claimed that in 1979, Roy Moore touched her in a sexual way. When she was just 14 years old, he was 32. In the article, three other women also claimed Moore had inappropriate contact with them when they were teenagers. Moore denied the allegations, but on November 10th gave what some called a confusing response. Do you remember dating girls that young at that time? Not generally, no. I don't remember ever dating any girl without the permission of her mother. Then this past Monday, another bombshell. I had tears running down my face. An emotional news conference held by Beverly Young Nelson, who describes an aggressive encounter with Moore in 1979 when she was 16. I tried fighting him off while yelling at him to stop. But instead of stopping, he began squeezing my neck, attempting to force my head onto his crotch. Moore said the accusations were absolutely false, that he never met Nelson. Despite Nelson having a yearbook, she says the former district attorney signed, writing, Love Roy Moore. Moore says the yearbook signature is a forgery. Wednesday, another Washington Post article. Two additional women again accusing Moore of inappropriate behavior with them when they were teenagers. They say they both met Moore at the local Gadsden, Alabama mall. Also on Wednesday, Kelly Harrison Thorpe told AL.com Moore asked her out in 1982 when she was 17 years old. She says she asked Moore, do you know how old I am? And he said, yeah, I go out with girls your age all the time. Tina Johnson telling AL.com that Moore touched her inappropriately when she was in his Gadsden, Alabama law office back in 1991. She was 28, he was married. Moore categorically denies accusations of wrongdoing. They're not only untrue, but they have no evidence to support them. Last week when the accusations first started, Roy Moore's bid for the Senate showed no signs of being affected. He held a strong lead over his Democratic challenger, Doug Jones. 
He even received glowing support just yesterday from the Conference of Pastors. And I compare a man who graduated the U.S. Military Academy and takes his honor oath seriously to the dubious claims of women who their own family members doubt their integrity, I say to them, and I'll quote the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not bear false witness. But the tide might be turning. The latest poll by Fox News shows Moore is now trailing Democrat Jones by eight points. And joining me now is one of the women who spoke to AL.com, accusing Roy Moore of groping her, Tina Johnson. Tina, thank you for being here. Thank you, Megan, and good morning. So you were 28 at the time, and you were in his law office with your mom. You were, you were giving custody of your son to your mom. You were going through some difficult times in your life. That's not correct. Okay. What it was was that my mother just wanted him. She wanted control over him. Um, I didn't have the money for an attorney, and I had two small children. I was married in a stable home. But she had more money than I did. So she hired more, and we went to his law firm for me to sign custody over. He was 12, and he wanted to go. And describe how Roy Moore was with you. Like, what? How did he treat you in the office? It, as soon as we came into his office, it was ongoing flirting, um, telling me I was fruity. Um, he said something to the phrase, you're attractive or, or something like that. And he proceeded to ask me out on a date. And he was married at the time. I didn't know that either. I, I wasn't aware of that until a few days ago. Mm -hmm. And um. What were you thinking? This guy's there as a, he's a lawyer. Representing my mother. And this was hard for me to do because it's just because I didn't have money for an attorney. And I'm having to do this. I didn't want to be there in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And um, he never got to the paper. He never got to sign the papers, you know. He got out of his desk and he said on the end, he, his knee was touching my knee. And I could smell his breath even. And then he was just, my eyes. You have beautiful eyes. And then he proceeded to tell me, he, he asked me, did I have, I had children, two small girls. And I said, yes. And he asked me their ages. And I told him. And then he proceeded to ask me, did they have my eyes? Mm -hmm. And then um, just continuously flirting. I mean, I was just shocked. You know, I, it was already uncomfortable when he started mentioning the two girls, I, bells went off. So you got up to leave the office. We did. And what happened? As we was leaving, my mother got up and walked out first. And then he just grabbed my behind. I mean, forcefully grabbed it. And I didn't even react. I just walked out. What was going through your mind in that moment? I was so ashamed. Ashamed? Yes, I thought I'd get something. I thought the dress I had on was inappropriate. It was long. It was down to my knees. Mm -hmm. One side was white, one side was black. And I thought I looked like a professional lawyer. I was trying to compete, I guess, you know, look nice. And then I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't have wore it. Did you, what, what was your reaction as he rose up to the Alabama Supreme Court, as his political career took off? I try not to follow it. Are you a political person? No. Do you have any political motivations here? None. None. Why, why tell your story? Why come out publicly with it? When I heard that the 14-year-old, they said that one of guests and citizens got on camera and said that, oh, she was there. It's okay. She was 14. It was okay. And I said, oh, my God. And we, Roy Moore has a lot of Christian-based. My thing is, in the Bible, it tells us at the end of time, they will say good is bad and bad is good. When you're telling me that it's good for you to grow up a 14-year-old, that is something wrong. He denies that. He denies it. I mean, you know, you heard his denial in there. Let me ask you, I, I know that you have had some difficulty with the law. You yeah. Passed some bad checks. I did. Did you, under, did you believe that that would be used against you? Yes. If you came forward? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you had, what kind of reaction have you had from friends and family? Um, not too good. Not a lot of support. People from where I'm from, you don't talk about this. You don't air your dirty laundry. Mm -hmm. 
um, but it's not mine. It's not mine. And that day he done that, he scarred me for life. I know people, they're saying, oh, it's just a growl. I was vulnerable from the start, and he was a position of power. Mm -hmm. He, I think that he wanted to take my power so he could feel powerful. Tina, thank you. Thanks for telling your story. Thank Advice you. to you. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.